It's very funny. In the days of coronavirus that our fake pastors from Cameroon, Nigeria, Korea, England, they've disappeared. They've disappeared. And they are nowhere to be found. Our healers, traditional healers, nowhere to be found. Doctors, scientists that we've been paying for millions of years, researchers, they are nowhere to be found. Or they are caught wanting. Hmm? Very fun. And I can tell you for nothing that Western medicine, it's nothing but bogus. The only thing that they are interested in is to pump your body with drugs. And when all has failed, they cut you, amputate you, chop you. They're good at that. Well, sometimes they do have successes, just like sometimes traditional healers do have successes. But the damage, maybe it's worse than the success. But anyway, the coronavirus has money to expose politicians, the super rich. They're now running up and down, worried, dead worried. And you know why? Because they have not fixed the healthcare or the healthcare system. And they're dead worried because they can't take their loved ones overseas, overseas countries that are dealing with their own problems. So they're dead worried. And all of a Sunday, we've got white people pretending to care about black lives, shouting from social media pages, recording videos, telling township people to stay indoors, to wash their hands. Since when? Since when? Did you care? Since when? From 1652, black people have never experienced peace or Africans. Europe sent the worst of their own people, criminals, people not wanted in Europe. They brought in here smallpox, syphilis, black death, polio, every sort of illnesses. Not even once have we been asked how we're feeling whether we should wash our hands, stay away. No. We were dragged from our homes, raped, killed, enslaved by criminals, barbarians. All of a sudden, we must go back to our homes. We are out in the streets, dog. We want to make a living. The lockdown is heavy. And the average men and the poor, they need to go out there and hustle. Yes, corona is a threat, but the government cannot just shut down everyone and render everyone non-essential. Everybody is essential. I'm essential in my family. Whether you're a plumber, electrician, car mechanic, diesel mechanic, an actor, a musician, a puppet artist, we are essential. Even now, in this lockdown era, we are watching actors on TV. They have become essential. Musicians, DJs, everybody is essential. Every job is service driven or product driven. After all, it is not township people who brought Corona here in South Africa. The majority of the people, they are poor. They did not go to Spain, Geneva, Italy, to play with ice or mountain snow or sweet bogorol going to non-essential destinations. It is the rich, the politicians, the upper class, 
kind of a Sunday. They're now telling black people to stay indoors. Please don't come out. You know, this corona, if it can hit townships, it will devastate them. Margaret, it will devastate them. Nonsense. We are scared. Yes, it might devastate some. We'll survive. But you are worried about the rebound. The people of Alexander will come to Santin, to a little Santin. You worried about the rebound. Yeah? People in Kailija. You brought it here. You, Western Cape, for Reverend Mishu. They must arrest that one. And that preacher. That cowboy preacher on TV. He brought in people here from high risk areas. They infected everyone. Where Reverend Mush, a DAMP, he went overseas for sweet bogger or nothing. Brought in Corona here. Now we have Bomalema saying, hey, government must be tough on this shutdown. Nigga, please. Some of us don't have friends like Bomazoti, Jobek mafias, European mafias. parliamentary packages that you said in 2014 you were not going to chow them medical aid schemes housing allowances you said parliamentarians they earn enough leaders don't take your salary donate it to the poor I'm sure you can afford Womazoti they're funding your dog all of a Sunday White people are now praising and saying, I don't agree with Malema, but on this one, he's right, because he wants to shut people inside their shacks. While they did not bring corona here, they did not bring diseases here, but smallpox, polio, syphilis, since 1652, Popason brought in AIDS here in their flag, FARC, plus, Nabutikok. They do not bring all these diseases here. Everybody is essential. Whether you're a plumber, technician, every job it's servicing the community. Pseudo revolutionaries pretending to be caring. If you care, Tell your parliamentarian friends to donate their monies. Like these billionaires with hands full of blood and slavery of our people who've made money from our minds, God given minds that they found here. Look, being a mining mogul or mining magnet, it requires no skills. All you need to do is to have government influence, find few people, enslave them, and take their land and mine. There's no creativity there. Those mines belong to us. There's no creativity in the open hammers, in the DPS, in the multiples of this world. All you need to do, find few bloody fools in government and agree with them, Muti. We'll remove those people over there and start mining coal, chrome in Limbob. If they refuse, we shoot them. Mining. It's full of blood. Just like in Marigan. It's amazing. Black people, they've been asking for reconciliation for mad years. And all they got is a nasty, funny, smelly smile like he. Yeah. And I don't know why white people continue doing that. Black people hate it. It's either you create or you don't. Hey, what's that? You've been called kafers, kafir, in front of our kids at times, so that some people they can exert their power and change their power, you know, and teach our kids to obey from childhood. All of a sudden. Must all be Amapogopo, Viva, Kumbaya. We know after this coronavirus, back to square one. Yeah. Your nasty, funny ways now teaching us. 
about hygiene. We've known hygiene for many years when there was no Europe, no Greece. 2,300 years before Hippocrates, Imhotep practiced medicine. The first multi-genius, Pharaoh, black Pharaoh, Imhotep, and many before him, the sun people, they've been living for almost 200,000 years here. Nobody has asked how they've been living until smallpox was introduced to them by the worst criminals. When Europe emptied their jails, thugs sent them here. They did not send scientists, they sent barbarians, runaway criminals to colonies like America, Australia, China. They found our people, enslaved them, raped them. They found the best of us. They did not enslave hobos. They enslaved builders, artisans, princes and princesses, queens, hmm? raped, murdered. Our people, all of a sudden, they now care and say, please, guys, stay in your houses. You must wash your hands. We've been washing our hands. When settlers, criminals, they would take a black woman pregnant and open a stomach and womb without even giving that poor black child aspirin, a panado, life. And they put their filthy hands inside the womb and grab the baby and snatch the baby and throw the baby on the floor, on the ground, dusty soil. As if that was not enough, and smash the skull with a cowboy boot. All of a sudden, you care about us. As I said earlier, when they've been injecting our people with drugs, HIV. Black people did not bring HIV here. First started in America, white homosexuals spreading this thing. All of a sudden, the face of AIDS became black. The Quran. Not black people report it here. Those who had relatives in Europe, France, Spain, brought it here. The media did not pick that up or did not televise that. They kept on telling us about statistics until we had black fools like Bumandel coming out, until we had enough black faces saying they've got Corona. They are now showing them. They've never showed one white face this day. Maybe in the future, I don't know. This day, the face of Corona, it's now black. Pharmaceuticals, they now want to come here and test their vaccines. Why not test it in Spain, Italy? Why not test this poison in your own countries? Nonsense. People pretending to be caring. All of a Sunday, they love Julius. They say, you know, I don't agree with Julius, but Julius is right on this one. People, they're not coming out into the streets because they want to disobey. They are hungry. They need to hustle. You cannot maintain the lockdown 100% as it is. It's not sustainable. Yes, Corona is dangerous. But they need to think of other means, creative. There's no lockdown in Beijing, Shanghai. Why? Yes, people must wash their hands. Hygiene is not a corona thing. Hygiene is important. Pure attention. Sanitize. What happens after these 21 days is over? This 21 days lockdown. As we are told by health ministers that the bodies will rise. So it means the lockdown is not helping. They need to build health facilities, equipment to cater for these people, get more stimulants or 
immune boosters while working on the cure. Yeah, it's funny. After Sunday, people care. And we all know, after this corona, back to square one, racism all over again. Because some people can't exist without racism. Can't.